Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. The October update is rolling out now on Xbox Live, and as always, I thought I'd like to take a moment and share with you some of the features coming to your Xbox One console. First on the list are the new controls for Snap Center, which allow for faster, simpler navigation when using Snap. If the reaction I'm seeing online is any indication, it's been enormously popular in the preview community, and now everyone will have access to it. If you double tap the Xbox button, you can quickly choose to snap an app, unsnap, go immediately back to the last app you had snapped, or return to control your game. You can also tap X when this menu is up to record the last 30 seconds of gameplay. I am thrilled that the new snap features are finally available to everyone, and I hope you'll find them as useful as I do. Next up, we've made a few adjustments to achievements. When you share an achievement, you can now do so with a caption. You'll also notice that when you're looking at a specific achievement full screen, you can see which of your friends have recently unlocked it. The new friends section is now available to everyone as well. You can now see at a glance what your friends are doing, which games are most popular with your friends, and my favorite, the gamer score leaderboard which shows you how you stack up against your friends in gamer score over the last month. I'm also pleased to share that the October update brings a couple of highly requested features to the Media Player app. Streaming media from DLNA server is now supported. We've also added support for MKV playback over both USB and DLNA. Now these were hot items on our user feedback site and I know the team is excited to bring these updates to the entire Xbox Live community. For markets where one guide is available, which now includes 11 new countries in the October update, we're adding the TV mini guide. This allows you to bring up a mini guide and lets you quickly see info about what you're watching, switch quickly to a recently viewed channel, and more. You can also now set your Xbox One to immediately go to TV when you power it on. You'll find this option in the power and startup settings. That's a quick look at the October update, which is now rolling out. For more information, stop by news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com. As always, if you have a great idea for Xbox, swing by feedback.xbox.com. Thanks for watching.